And what, what property are you looking to do the, the crowdfunding on? So this is with the house up in up in Inverness um, that um, we've kind of we've got a main lender in place and then we're crowdfunding to raise the deposit, essentially. Um, it'll be able to be up and running pretty much, you know, from day one. It's already it ran as a guest house previously. And um, so the bedrooms are all set up. The equipment's all there. Um, to just be where the owners have been living. We just need to um, put some more furniture in because they'll obviously take theirs with them. And and then it's good to go. Um, and the site's it's quite a big site. So potentially there's space for some more accommodation um, surrounding it. So, yeah, it's quite an exciting project. Oh, I love it. And is there um, any sort of restrictions or limitations on the Leo crowdfunding? How, how's that sort of working as far as the equity? Because you said that's for the deposits. So that's very interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Um, restrictions in terms of when you're setting up a project with Leo, they are, like every other lender, looking for you to have some skin in the game. So the expectation is that you'll put in, you know, five to 10 percent of your own money. Um, and then you can use the crowdfunding to fill that gap. Um, some of the, if you look at some of the projects on there, some of them are, are raising far in excess of what they require. So, you know, that's great if that happens. Um, you set a minimum and a maximum amount that you want to raise. So once it's hit the minimum, then you can draw down that money and get, and get working on your project. Um, and then, you know, hopefully you go for the maximum and get what you need. So it's uh yeah so we're in the process what happens do we create an investor document and then that gets approved by um fca approved if you like by sharing who are the company that oversee that calculated um so we, we've kind of tested it a little bit we've got some good interest and we're just getting ready to launch it formally um in the next few weeks wow we'll definitely need to speak again on that that sounds really yes. really interesting so it's it's kind of I don't know if you yes it's kind of like a sort of a mezzanine type finance that is going in over and above and is it normal uh, is it just a, a normal it's not a bridge lending or anything like that it's just a normal lender and they're happy for you to have that additional um, lending in the other in the top part yes it's not classed as a loan it's classed as an equity share raise so you are giving shares in your company the SPV that will hold the property. Um, and there, so the shares are generally B class shares. So, so it, uh, if you were to buy shares, you wouldn't have voting rights in the company, and the expectation would be those shares would be bought back by, you know, w w when the project reaches. Um, so we've estimated three years to enable us, which will allow us to refinance and get the shareholders out. So we missed the key part there. <laughs> I was like you went, and what we <laughs> so the, so what so you said we uh, say so three years, you said yeah. So so the idea is the project will run for three years, then we'll get a commercial valuation based on the income that we've generated, and that will allow us to refinance onto a commercial mortgage, and then buy the shares back from the shareholders. Okay, you shareholder, if you wanted to leave your money in longer. And continue to share of the profits, so that option will be available to to potentially extend that if you want. So it gives people who want to do, you know, test the water with, and you can invest with as little as a hundred pounds, and that's what it's nice that it it can manage a large number of um, investors at one time. Whereas, you know, if you if you were trying to let people give you a hundred pounds, it would just it could become a nightmare. So is it kind of like? Sorry, Hamish. Sorry. I was just going to ask, is, is there then a, um, a minimum amount of time that uh, the investors have their money in for? Because if, if say, I don't know, 20 people decided to pull out 5,000 each, all of a sudden that's quite a lot of money that you, you're you expected to suddenly pay back with short Yeah, time. so so what we're asking people that they're committing to three years. So that's the kind of project lifespan, if you like. And at, at the end of those three years, the expectation is that we'll pay the shareholders back. And then what we might do is either allow some shareholders to stay with us or we might do a secondary raise to develop the site further. Um, but we just want to buy the house and get it up and running. 